Hello everyone and welcome back to a day in my life. So today we are just going to be running a bunch of errands. I have a couple things that I have to do. We're going to, as always, try not to spend too much money. Um, I do have to stop by TJ Maxx. I want to go to Goodwill. I need to go to the Dollar Tree and whatever else we find on the way we will do. Today is kind of a me day and I need a relaxing day because let me tell you it has been a crazy month of April so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me I'm gonna see how this day goes because I didn't charge my camera so I am at 50% right now and I haven't even left the house so we'll see how that works out my braid is already falling apart that's what happens when you have layers in your haircut and yeah we'll see where the day takes us it's been a little bit rainy here so we're gonna see if it's gonna rain today or if we're gonna have a nice weather and we'll see how the traffic is because that's been insane as well so um come along with me and let's see what store we hit first So, so far already, I went to the Dollar Tree. I didn't film anything in there because when I walked in, apparently everybody needed to go to the Dollar Tree, so everybody was in there. But I was just getting some things for Josh's co-worker's kid because it was his birthday and he was two. So I just got him a cute little Spider-Man kite and I got him some chalk to write on the driveway and just um, some bubbles and stuff. So I got that and dropped it off at Josh. And then as you guys saw in the previous clip, we got lunch. So we went to Panera. And now I am at Old Time Pottery. Um, this is like a store here. It's huge in there and they pretty much sell everything. I don't know if they have this anywhere else um, or if it's just like a Florida thing. But I will show you guys in there so you can see what it looks like. And I'm not looking for anything specific. I'm just looking around and see what I can find. And just walking around and spending money that I shouldn't be spending but I will show you guys in there and hopefully it's not raining by the time I come out Well, today has basically been a day of let's see what goes wrong. I have been dealing with my contacts and I went to Walmart. They were having issues. They couldn't order my contacts. So I had to drive to another place and see if I could order them there. They couldn't order them there until Monday because they have to call the insurance. And I just came to my parents' house to pick up some plants that we were going to put tomorrow in our front 
garden because we're going to be working that on that project tomorrow and they were too heavy and i couldn't lift them so now i have to wait for josh to get out of work so that i can come with him and pick up the plants and then take out as you can see my braid is still falling apart and take out some that are in ground so that we can transplant them to our garden so we're going to be doing that later today um I think I'm still gonna try to go to Goodwill. I wanted to go to TJ Maxx, but I don't think that's gonna be happening because I am nowhere near there. So I'm gonna go to Goodwill and see where I go from there. So I will show you guys whatever's next. So I actually ended up not going to Goodwill at all. I went to Belk's and I bought a couple of things. I showed you guys before this clip what I tried on. I only took like two things home. But I came home and I checked on the... Uh, this morning I had sprayed some like weed killing concentrate spray thingy to the front of our garden area just so I could kill all the bad grass since we're gonna be working on it tomorrow and you kind of need to have a clean slate and clean dirt. You can't have any weed before you put that black cloth over it and it didn't do anything. So I just spent another 30 minutes respraying it, making sure that it was all really, really wet and that the product got all over it so hopefully that works but right now it's six o'clock so it's very dark outside it looks like it's gonna start storming at any minute and josh gets off at seven so i have about an hour to finish editing a video i just need to do the voiceover and then we're gonna head straight to my parents house again like i said before so that we can pick up those plants and have them here tonight so that tomorrow we can just start working on it bright and early outside but yeah i'm just gonna edit for about an hour i am gonna show you guys a little bit later what i got while i was out today and i might have some other projects that i want to work on at the house so i will show you guys that well we went to get the plants and we got super super rained on so we just got home and took a shower i took off my makeup and put some comfy pjs on and then now i'm gonna show you guys what i ended up getting throughout the day while i was out at the stores i don't know how this lighting is gonna be but to start i got uh old time pottery i got this oven tray liner or i guess it's called a non-stick oven liner i wanted this to put at the bottom of our oven because every time we bake something it just gets like stuff gets dirty down there so it's just easier to put this there and then have to clean it up so that fit perfectly and hopefully that will prevent the oven from getting so dirty and having to clean it as often i can just take that out instead of having to clean the entire oven at once next i got some more um catnip liners um i don't know if you guys remember a couple videos back i had gotten some of big lots i don't even remember how much i paid for those but these were only 4.99 and they only had like this color so some of the ones that we have are blue and then some are going to be white but i want to put these in the rest of the cabinets and i ended up getting three of these so hopefully that's enough if not i can always just go back and get some more the next thing that i got is a new runner for the kitchen and a few other um in a smaller and two smaller rugs to go along with it 
because um, the ones that we have right now, we've had them for almost two years and it's just, after washing them so much, you just need to replace them. So I'm gonna put these down and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is the one that we have now and I like the colors, it's very subtle and then it's very subtle. And then these are the ones that I got. Now the thing that I'm unsure about these is I don't want stuff dropping on the light areas and then it looking dirty. So we shall see how they hold up, but this is the old one, so let's put on the new one. Let me know what you guys think, if you like how it looks. It is a little bit longer than the other one, so it does cover a bit more space. I feel like I just need to change these towels so that it's a little bit darker. And I feel like that color matches our, our utensils that we use and you know the backsplash and everything. I feel like it brings it together. And it's not like so much in your face blue, but this one is for here. We obviously have to wait for it to straighten out. And then I got a smaller one for the laundry room. So let me change that one real quick. So we have that one here. And then I was thinking I did get a third one. And I don't know if I should put it in front of the stove or if I should put it in front of the fridge. These are like the two areas where it gets the most dirty. So let me try it out in front of the stove. So this is what it looks like in front of the stove. I don't know if I really like that look. Like obviously it doesn't look good with this hand towel. Yeah, I might be returning that one. I don't really like how it looks in front of the stove. I'm just gonna keep the one under the sink. So those I actually got for a really good price. So the runner was $14.99 and the little ones were $7.99. And I haven't seen any like these on Amazon where it's, it's not a rug. It's like an actual like mate for the kitchen. So I'm glad that I have this one. I just, like I said, need to find new hand towels that will go more with this color. So the next thing that I got, I just got, it. just another sweater so they were having a huge sale this sweater was originally $40 and I got it for $8 and then I also got a cardigan so this is an extra large but I like my cardigans to be super super big and I don't know if you guys know but cardigans are usually very very expensive so this one was also $40 and I got it for $6.40 so it was a great deal. I won't have to purchase them come winter next year when everything is gonna be super marked up and it's gonna be more expensive. So it's better to buy winter clothes during summer and summer clothes during the winter because that's when stores are trying to get rid of their inventory. So they mark everything down. Like when I'm telling you, the whole entire store was clearance, clearance, clearance. And there was things that were up to 80% off. So these things were up to 80% off. So that's just crazy and I'm glad that I stopped by in there and that I was able to get these two things. Air is getting heavier, but I do my best to breathe. Dreams of green and filled with this. Life is so much more than this. So where do you go when nothing's like
So this is what the liners ended up looking like. I was able to get these two up here and then these two bottom ones. And I still have a whole roll left, so I'll see what else I can do with that. I was finishing editing the video and I realized that I didn't have an outro. But yeah, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this day in my life. And please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I have two more videos that I have planned coming up. One of them is the garden revamp and I also have a closet decluttering video that I want to do for you guys. So please like, subscribe and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in next week's video. Bye! I want you here.